Hi everyone, my name is Elizabeth and this is going to be the first time that I'm filming a video that isn't for my classroom. I am a, oh I have this weird piece of hair. How do people, how do people get their hair looking so good on camera? Like I just feel like I look like a hot mess. Anyway, I film YouTube videos pretty regularly because I'm a music teacher for kindergarten through eighth grade. And you know, when we went virtual in 2020, I made a YouTube channel, but it feels a little more awkward <laughs> just filming what I'm about to film, but it's something I've wanted to do for a while. So, hi, I'm Elizabeth, music teacher, um, and I live in a suburb of Charlotte in North Carolina with my husband, AJ, and our dog and our cat. And this is my first fall living in this house. My husband and I got married in December of last year, and that's when I moved in his house, this house, um, with him. And so before that, I wasn't really, I didn't have a home that I wanted to spend money decorating. But we have a beautiful house here in North Carolina. And this is my first year trying to decorate for fall. We're also hoping to host his family for Thanksgiving here this year. So I feel a little bit of pressure to make the house look pretty. And it's something that I really enjoy. So um, I wanted to show you guys what I have bought so far for fall Halloween and one little Thanksgiving item that I couldn't pass up that I saw at Hobby Lobby yesterday. So yeah, I wanted to show you what I already have and then what I bought to go with it. And then I'm hoping to decorate the house after this and maybe I'll do a little fall house tour. My husband and I have been very busy cleaning the house this weekend. So it's actually in pretty good shape. It's hard to keep a house clean when you have two animals that shed quite a lot in. So, does that make sense? Probably not, but hopefully you understood what I was saying. Um, before I get started, I just wanted to say thank you to my sister, Mary Margaret, and to my mom who have had YouTube channels that they upload regularly to. They've inspired me to go ahead and start doing this. Now, their channels are not like mine. <laughs> my sister has a book. Uh, uh, booktube I think it's called uh kind of channel and my mom does floss tube so she does like cross stitching and stuff y'all I cannot cross stitch it is not for me so you will never see a floss tube video on my channel well okay you will probably never see a cross stitching video I mean I can I have my knitting basket right over here um I can knit and I can crochet but I cannot cross stitch um and then booktube I think it's great but I just don't read enough <laughs> where I would have much to say um so anyway I, I enjoy both of their videos why are my eyes watering I'm not crying I think it's because I'm wearing contacts um but anyway so thank you to my mom and my sister for actually inspiring me to do this um I'm just gonna go on ahead and get into so it what I basically found out where I live is that if you like anything fall or anything Halloween or anything Thanksgiving you need to buy it immediately I went to my Target after seeing some videos on TikTok of the adorable Halloween decorations they have there. And guys, I didn't see anything. I mean, there was, I mean, I got a couple of things I'm going to show you, but I was so disappointed. And on TikTok, people showed pillows and um, throws and just very cute decor. And my, my Target had like a lot of costumes, but they didn't have it just looks like people had already gone in there and just cleaned it out. Like, I feel like where I live, people just want to buy all that kind of stuff. So anyway, before I went shopping, I kind of tried to look through what I already had. Guys, I just have really random stuff. So I have, I love Dia de los Muertos. I'm from Texas originally. So I have this big old pillow that doesn't go with anything in my house. I don't know where I'm going to put this, but I love it. I got it on clearance um, last year. I also have one of the Sugar Skulls dish towels that goes really well with that. Um, and that's all I have for Dia de los Muertos. Like I said, I don't have a ton of it. I just love it. I think it's so cool. Um, I just don't, it doesn't really go with the stuff in my house, but I'm gonna find a spot for that pillow. I love that pillow. Look, I mean, it's a mariachi band. I'm a music teacher, hello. Um, then I also have, I don't remember where I got this, but is this not the cutest little Halloween dish towel? Like, it's little ghosts and freaking bats. Love it. So, question. 
when do you guys decorate for Halloween? When is it okay? I mean, I know the YouTubers have already, they've been decorating for Halloween since August, okay? But I'm not a real YouTuber. When do normal people who are not doing this for a living, I mean, not that they're not normal people, but YouTubers who do this for a living, right? When do normal people start decorating for Halloween? My birthday's on Halloween, so. I'm thinking I'm gonna wait till October 1st. Um, and then what else do I have? I have this really pretty pumpkin. So this is made out of glass. It has a really pretty little curly stem. Um, I'm thinking, I don't actually know where I'm gonna put this, but I'm definitely using this guy this year. So I already have him. Not, I don't have a lot. One of my friends gave me this little jack-o'-lantern. He needs batteries, but he lights up. Um, so I just have him facing forward in October and then every time, other time, I've got it facing the back. And then I also have this very glittery pumpkin. I actually think I got this from Target last year. I don't remember, but it, it looks more expensive than it was. At least I think it does. Definitely gonna put that somewhere. And then, oh, this thing I got um, in December or something last year, I got this on clearance for $7 last year. And it's one of those, like, it almost looks like you would put like soup in this, like a soup tureen, is that what you call it? Um, I kept the lid taped shut so that it wouldn't break, but I love this. I think I may put this guy in my kitchen. Um, it would, I feel like this would look even really pretty if you put flowers in it, like real flowers, but I don't know. I may use it to serve soup, who knows? I may ask my husband if he wants to put soup in it or not. So honestly guys, like, oh, and then I have this massive thing. So I need to paint the bottom because something happened to it when I moved. But it's just got these really pretty fake flowers and these little squirrels with a welcome sign on it. Obviously, this is gonna go on my front porch. So that's all I had. Honestly, I think I just, I moved here from Texas, oh gosh, two years ago, a little over two years ago. And I got rid of a lot of stuff when I moved. So anyway, that's what I have already. I have one hair that I just keep sticking out so excuse my appearance I've never filmed a video like this before so I feel like I'm doing a little bit of a crazy job but so what I got at Target is kind of random and I may not keep all of it we will have to see I'm not 100% sure um I feel like I need to okay there we go it's a little better um like I was saying earlier at Target I just feel like I just miss out. I feel like I don't get there early enough and everything's gone or whenever it is there, I just don't make it. Um, some of the first things that I got at Target for fall were some of their little $1 pumpkins. I think, so this is the one that has the yarn as the surface. This one's just white cloth. Um, these were all just $1. And then like the shiny velvet. I kind of wish I hadn't gotten this one now. I like these other two so much better. I just think they look nicer. Um, I think the velvet looks cheap. And I don't think I like the color as much. So I don't know if I would even find it worth returning. Um, but these little pumpkins I just think are nice to have just kind of around the house. Um, oh, and I also got this one. This one looks so much nicer than it actually is. But it's, it's literal like card, not cardboard, it's like styrofoam or something. But I just think it's so pretty. Um, so I think I might just arrange those somewhere. So I got this one towards the beginning of the season. And then the last time I went to Target, I ended up picking up one of their pretty glass pumpkins. So this one is almost like, um, like, I don't even know how I would describe this color. What would you describe this? Um, it was $15, which I didn't think was very bad. And I think this is gonna look so pretty as a centerpiece um, or part of one, maybe on our kitchen table. I just think it's so, so pretty. And they actually, they honestly look like a very similar color, but this one was so cheap. So I might go back and see if I can find a little more of these, like a couple more. Um, and then I also got a couple of picks at Target. I don't typically love artificial flowers, but I've been seeing so many YouTubers use these and they just look so pretty. So I got these really pretty little flowers 
and I got this. It's almost like white eucalyptus and I just thought they looked really pretty together. So I got those two. I have a lot of that kind of mustard yellow in my house, like kind of this color. So it goes in my house. Oh yeah, I forgot about this one. I got two of the yarn pumpkins. So I have a navy one and this orange one. I have a lot of blues in my house. You can't see yet, but I have a lot of blue. So I thought that would look really pretty. And then this is the last pumpkin. Apparently I was obsessed with pumpkins this year, but isn't this so cute? I guess this is made of like, it reminds me of wicker. Wicker or rattan, I guess. I don't remember how much this was, $10. So I just really thought that these two looked really pretty together. I liked the mix of textures. So I loved those. Um, and then I also grabbed something that I really love to see when I'm at somebody's house is if you're in their bathroom and they have these kind of napkins to dry your hands instead of just getting their hand towel all wet and gross. And I hate wet, damp, nasty hand towels. So I got these. And I'm going to put these in my guest bathroom downstairs. So those are just going to be for fall in general. Now, I only got a few things for Halloween from Target. I have a couple more things that I have in my garage that I haven't brought in yet, but I'll show you what I've got. I got this really cute hand towel set for Halloween. It has like the cute little pumpkin. It says, happy Halloween. And then it just has the little jack-o'-lanterns. Guys, I love making jack-o'-lanterns. My husband and I did that last year and it was just so fun. And I think having this in the kitchen and this in the bathroom for Halloween, they kind of go together and I think it's so cute. I also got, I love cats. We have a cat, her name is Zoe and I love cats. Um, and so I got this little cat, this is so cute. So they have these in four different colors. They had black and a couple other metallic finishes. I, I would have liked to get the black one because I love black cats, but it didn't look as nice as this one. I just think, I think I wanna put this outside on my shelves. I have some shelves on my front porch and I think this is gonna go on one of them. Honestly, I thought it was glass when I first saw it, but then I saw that it was $5 and I was like, there's no way this is glass. And it's not, it's plastic. But I feel like when you look at her, she doesn't look like she's plastic. Love that. And then this is going to be kind of awkward to show. I don't even know if I can, but I also got this trick or treat door, door mat. I said door mat. There is no such thing as a door mat. This is the doormat and it just says trick or treat and it's orange and it's so cute. And this year we'll be home for Halloween so we can actually give out candy, which I'm so excited for. Last year we were out of town. Last year during Halloween, we were in Asheville. So moving on to Hobby Lobby. You guys, Hobby Lobby was a bust for me. I think that my Hobby Lobby has been bought out. They had nothing that I wanted that I'd see online. So I did get a couple of things, but to be honest with you, I was really disappointed with Hobby Lobby. I was looking specifically for, have you guys seen those like beaded belts garlands that look like the colors of candy corn? That's what I wanted. You guys, they had no cute garlands left. They had the really dirty looking like buffalo check that looked like it just been sitting in somebody's house for 50 years. Ugh, just not my style at all. So. Um, I did end up grabbing just a couple of little things to add to what I already had. I ended up getting this pick, which usually is not my style, but um, I've been seeing a couple of YouTubers use leather in their home and it looks so pretty. Um, so this was about $5. It was $8.99 before the 48% off. So it's just these like little leather pumpkins. I don't know if I like all of these together, but I think I'm going to find a good place to use that. Um, the last pumpkin that I got period is from Hobby Lobby as well. And it's this really pretty kind of sparkly. It looks like it's made out of flowers and I love it. This was, let's see, this was $19.99 and 40% off of that. So I would not spend $19.99 on this, but with 40% off I would. Um, the other thing that I was looking for at Hobby Lobby was a wreath for my front door for fall. I know that they're expensive, so I didn't have high hopes, but honestly, you guys, there was nothing there that I would have spent the amount of money they were asking for. Most of the wreaths I liked were $130. So I think I'm going to have to learn how to make a wreath. My dad 
always made our reeds growing up. My mom would help him. And I never knew why they went to the trouble. Now I know why. The only wreath that I found that I thought was even pretty was this one. And I think it's very pretty. But to be honest with you, I think it's too small for a front door. Um, so I might end up taking down one of our pieces of art and replacing it with this. I just love the color and the texture of it. This was $29.99, 40% off, whatever that math is. Where's my engineering husband when I need him? He's at the store, but he could do the math for me. Um, so I got this on sale, but I love it. I think it's really pretty. I think that's about it, except for one more thing that I got at Hobby Lobby. And this is just very silly, but, um, I saw some cute Thanksgiving items there, but I didn't buy them because it, it just feels wrong to be buying Thanksgiving things in September. But when I saw this, I kind of couldn't resist and I'll tell you why. My husband, AJ loves sports but he loves football the most he's originally from the northeast area and so he is a big patriots fan if you have a problem with that you can keep your mean comments to yourself uh <laughs> i'm a cowboys fan myself being from dallas but regardless we keep our like we keep it cordial you know we keep it cordial um we were watching the Buccaneers versus the Cowboys game the other night and it was getting a little tense because my husband wanted the Buccaneers to win because of Tom Brady and I wanted the Cowboys to win and it was so close, but we kept it mostly cordial. But you guys, look at this turkey. Isn't he so cute? He's a football turkey. <laughs> I just have all these memories of us celebrating Thanksgiving with our family. And then in the afternoon, the boys would just all disappear and go watch the football game. Um, I just, and it says happy football, y'all. It doesn't say, yeah, happy football, y'all. I just thought it was so cute. And my husband doesn't really care about house decor, but if there's a way that I can like give a nod to his interests when I'm getting things for the house, this is a stake to put in your yard. And so I'm in the fall like in November, I'm going to put this guy up and I just love him. I think he's so cute and I couldn't resist. And I thought the next time I go, they're not going to have it and be really sad. So that was the only thing that I got for Thanksgiving. But anyway, that is all I have gotten this year. I think it feels really rattled and disjointed and I went off on a lot of tangents, but hopefully if you bore with me all the way through, thank you. Um, I'm honestly excited to see how all this looks and what I actually end up using and how it's going to look. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the little things that I got and I hope I will be able to film some kind of little house tour of, well, it'll probably be downstairs tour because I'm not planning on decorating much upstairs, but getting to see where I put everything. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know if you liked any of the things I got and if you think any of it would look good in your house and what you think I should do with my uh, mariachi pillow. <laughs> uh, but hopefully you'll be able to give me more like good advice when you actually can see my house. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.